one other juxtaposition of masculinities. The uh, fact is that the creative impulse is often um, stated for a male as being a substitute for the creative possibility that is enjoyed by the female. And that male bonding often is a sorry um, substitute for the sense that life truly is in the hands of others and that passing uh, does not enter jealousy etc and so forth because we work at that point with specific sensitivities leaning toward the other to feel whatever that other has to offer without constraint, uh, without the dulling edge of jealousy. And it's my sense that that might be all that's possible at this time of our lives, of our minds, that Mahler and Kuno Volta might be ideal lovers. The rest of us, and we write some words. Now, one of the best poems I ever didn't write happened on the phone with my colleague, Bruce Harding. One of the good things about Bruce, as with uh, the Wombat and several treasured uh, friends, is that you enlarge and all things seem possibly possible within a faint possibility of a small margin of time so that you scat. One of the reasons that bebop was so important was that he notes themselves, etc. and so forth, and he went beyond them. And that's what much of the music with existence is. When we do uh, Fart Rescue, many people. What we essentially find is that the lyricism depends on the sense of a, an ear for that voice. And most of poetry is written to a direct audience. What happens for some of us is that the poetry happens by accident. And that accident is mostly unrecorded. So the poems tonight are here simply because I didn't talk to uh, Bruce on mic. And we'll get to that some other day. Meanwhile, I'd like Bruce to offer us one more of the poems from the collection. Uh, I have one. Who said that I is dead? Look at the bagpipes. <laughs> Mission impossible. This being the this being the Jack and Wombat show, there is one poem of Jack's which I've mistranslated, and unfortunately I write so small he may not be able to read his original. Oh, which I right, 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 right. You do the line breaks, okay? No, you can just go. And you okay. Space. Perhaps. Wait, one, two. <laughs> Where are you guys? <laughs> Perhaps at a time like this, it would be vivacious to drift off on the dark shore, alone like the cloud that you can see more in an oarless place. We don't dream away from what was or couldn't be, lying back on the rose of the morn, looking up at the black sky, 
an opening spaces, the mist gets warm, the, the smell of hunger is so powerful, it grows stronger. I very sure I saw the voice start burning through the lobby of out past the bosky bedrooms, foreign degrees of ceremony, worried of birdlings, my enemy in the week of rum, lifting the lightning springs, the foliage and bradling scare awaiting the white of the he drill breaking, he drill breaking past all along the dozens of hydro fires and mice of buildings being used to be on the wall. He drill breaking and back and he's with a fading like when the man is creeping in a wall of the shell of burning bark, growing steady, hunting yards, mighty stride. The lightning of tins is under your back, just the bitterness of the fire, and the fire is a blind thing to be in the air. The lightning of tins is under your back, just the bitterness of the fire, and the fire is a blind thing to be in the air. The lightning of tins is under your back, just the bitterness of the fire, and the fire is a blind thing to be in the air. The lightning of tins is under your back, just the bitterness of the fire, and the fire is a blind thing to be in the air. The massive of the long white lines like plastic. The flock of organs hung silently to the ocean, drumming the army crop in the air. He drove a guy asked to meet the Akinations and not go for a fight in the heat and tissue. Along the midst of the white water boat pieces, with the slark of gray lobsters, with the wisp of a spray, the glimpse of these arms in the room, he drove a guy to a guy which was hitched to us. And, and you up with your arms, you smash when you break in the sky, you glow in the clouds, the light smoke, under the front of the deep dark galaxies, the future of the stars shining, the ocean and the sky is one with its upbringing, and like a snarly ass, that will wander the drag of you, that is a truly thing, outgrown, and your spirit is a man who is full of essence and covers all, and becomes all, and becomes all, the tiniest particles and energies of you are flung instantly, past light speed, to the deepest corners of the universe, past limits which don't exist, past calendar and birth and death, to the poem and core and extremities of all, and it is over in the drifting, in the abandonment, that tonight he's always found tired and empty in the sea somewhere. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for my friends who arrived too late for my set. <laughs> Next week, we have the return of the Small Press Alliance. And then on Labor Day, the Wombat, excuse me, the Wombat Wombat, reading the story of the Wombat, the mistranslation of Donald Bartholomew's The Genius. Now the reason I'm not a genius is my IQ is 132, genius begins at 135, or it used to be that. Now Mensa, the genius organization, is the side of the 132 that start taking it. I think that's shameless. It's going out and canvassing for geniuses. Where are these people up to? <laughs> so I am the one. Jack is Jack Roberts. <laughs>